Wi-Fi 6 brings a lot of new improvements. However, if you're running an older computer like me that's from 2011, or you want to add Wi-Fi 6 to your desktop, well, this video is for you because today we're gonna look at how to install Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 into an older laptop using this adapter. And we're gonna look at how to add both of those to a desktop using this adapter. So we're gonna first start off with the laptop and then we'll go to the desktop. So let's get started. So the main advantage of Wi-Fi 6 is that it has four times the bandwidth of Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac. Not only that, but it's supposed to have better efficiency and it's supposed to have better range. So I wanna add that to my older computer. So for a laptop, what you're gonna need is this adapter. This is a mini PCIe to an NGFF M.2 uh, adapter. And then you're also gonna need an antenna because the antennas in the older laptops with mini PCI are actually thicker. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to everything I bought so you guys can also buy it. And then of course, you're gonna need your 802.11 AX or Wi-Fi 6 card plus Bluetooth 5.0 card. So I'll also put a link to that. For the desktop, things are quite simple. There's actually a kit that you can buy and this kit comes with the adapter, two antennas that hook up to the back so you should get good range. And it even comes with the USB adapter wire, screws, and yes, for you guys using mini, mini computers or whatever, you know, MATX, an adapter. So I'll put a link in the description where the desktop portion starts. But let's start with how to install it in a laptop. So I'm gonna open this up and then we'll see what to do. Before we completely open this, there's one thing I did want to mention. If you have a Lenovo or HP laptop, there's a really high chance that your laptop has a BIOS whitelist or blacklist, which means that you cannot use any Wi-Fi adapter unless it came with the computer. I highly recommend checking out notebookreview.com and then check on that website. There's different sub forms for each manufacturer. Check there if your laptop is affected by this. However, MSI, Dell slash Alienware laptops, I've been dealing with those for a while and they don't have any of that type of stuff. So you're good if you have those. Any other laptop manufacturer, do check out Notebook Review to see if there's any you know whitelist or blacklist. There are some BIOSes out there. BIOSes, BIOSi, anyways. There are some BIOS out there that allow you to bypass that. So definitely check that out before you buy any of this stuff. On the desktop side of things, we're installing this into a first generation Core i7 based computer. So if it works in that computer, you, there should be no issue with any you know, newer computer. So desktop's normally good. With that said, let's open this up and see how to install this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do with the laptop open is locate where the Wi-Fi card is. So for me, it's right here. So the first thing you wanna do is see if the adapter is gonna fit. So I already cut a portion of this adapter. It comes a little bit longer, but either way, even with it cut, this much is required unless you break this part off too, which isn't easy to do. But as you can see, if we put it here, it's not gonna fit because this metal piece is in the way. This is definitely something you wanna check with any of your laptops that you have to make sure it would clear. But luckily for me, I have another port right here. So I have two ports. This is actually meant for, isn't meant for something else, but it also supports this. So the first thing we're gonna do is install this adapter. So you're gonna insert the adapter like this, and then you're gonna use the provided screw that comes with the kit and screw it in. Next, you're gonna take the Wi-Fi card and stick it into the port here. And then you're gonna screw it in using the other provided screw. Now you're gonna open up the Wi-Fi antenna adapter. As you can see, I have three wires here, but there's only two here. So the two wires that get used are the white and the black wire. If you have a third gray wire, you're not gonna use it, it'll be unused. So what you wanna do is unplug the antenna and probably remove your old wireless adapter. I can disable mine in the BIOS, so I'm gonna leave mine in, but make sure you remove it if you can't do that. Basically, you're gonna plug it in like this. All right, with the wires installed, you just wanna tuck them in somewhere into the chassis. So just, you know, hide them anywhere you can. And now I'm just gonna turn the laptop on and see if it works. So now we're just gonna turn on the laptop and test to see if everything works. 
So as you can see, we have our Bluetooth card here and we have our, oh, here it is. This is the Wi-Fi adapter. Now keep in mind, I'm using a different adapter for just the video purposes because I haven't received my Wi-Fi 6 card just yet, but the process is exactly the same. And if we go ahead and look into the little corner here, you'll see that I have Wi-Fi connectivity. So basically it worked. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both working, which is perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing with the desktop. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi is using my full bandwidth. My plan is 250 megabits per second down and 12 megabits per second up. All right, so just like before, we're gonna go ahead and insert the adapter right here. And there's two antennas. So it's gonna go exactly like this. So this antenna goes to this and this antenna goes to this. So let's go ahead and get that installed. Okay, so with the card assembled, next you're gonna install this cable. This is goes to the USB header on your motherboard. And on this side, it connects right here like this. All right, so now that this whole thing's assembled, we're not gonna install the antennas just yet because they need to go through the PCI bracket. So let's go to the desktop and install this and then install the antennas. All right, so first remove the side panel of your computer. Or I guess in this case, you also wanna turn off the power from the back. But now we're gonna go ahead and first locate the USB header for this. So let's go look for that. So the first thing you wanna do is locate this PCI slot right there because that is going to determine where you insert the card so we're going to insert it into this port right here the next thing you want to do is find a header that says usb like this one so we're going to go ahead and insert this connector into the usb port right there as you can see it has been inserted so let's install the card okay so we're going to go ahead and install this into the port right here and then you're gonna to want to install the screw as well in the back so that this thing doesn't go anywhere. All right, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and install these antennas. So you can just go ahead and twist them like this. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on and try it out. Typical Windows 10, right? All right, so everything's working. As you can see, we have our Wi-Fi adapter and our Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and do a speed test and see how this performs. So before I was getting about one to two megabits per second from this location. And as you can see, we're getting quite a bit more. I'm in the shed outside in the backyard from the house. So the internet here is normally really slow, but this is actually pretty good. So I look forward to having much faster internet from the shed. Well, I hope that helped you find out how to get Wi-Fi 6 in your older computer or even in a desktop. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.